Whoa. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Hey buds, it's Cheshire Wolf, and today we are playing Bewilder House. It's an indie game, it's free. I'll have a link in the description if you want to play it yourself. Why am I playing a weird old indie game like this? Well, it's because it's about clowns. It's got a creep clown in it. I like that. I like the aesthetic. It's kind of like the clown level of dark deception. I'm a big clown fan. I got my killer clowns from outer space shirt on. I got my don't fuck the clown mug. I think clowns are really cool. And if there's a game about clowns, I'm gonna play the game about clowns. If, they, if you know of any more games about clowns, recommend them to me because I want to play them. I'd like to play the clown games. Right now we're gonna get into Bewilder House. Oh, look everybody. Here, here's the new grown-up we found yesterday. He's so tall. Good luck, Mr. Grown-up. <laughs> He's waking up. Go tell the others. There is sound. Awesome. Okay, so uh, apparently a bunch of weird kids brought me here. Wait a minute. How do I move? Wait, S moves back, but I can't... Oh. Okay, so WASD doesn't work, except the S and D work. So I can go backwards or right, but not forwards or left. Unless I use the arrow keys. <laughs> so I need to use the arrow keys with the mouse, which is just a little, just a little awkward. Can I change that in the menu? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> this is off to a fantastic start already. And no, I am not dissing this game at all because if you're gonna make a free game by yourself then you deserve all the appreciation even if it's not the most perfectly made game can you get to the room marked on your map okay so i got a little so i have a map and clearly this is the room when I need to get to the the green marked thing and then do I just click? What button do I press? Spacebar? F? Oh, was that Z? I think I might have pressed Z. Oh, M! M, it says M. Okay. Cool, I can do that. So this is like a quote-unquote horror game, which I think it's meant to be a horror game, but uh, drop it off. I don't think, I do not predict that this is actually going to be particularly scary. So, if you were- Many obstacles will try your perception. Watch out for them, and you will be victorious. Okay, I will watch out for them. Um, I swear, I'm not trying to make fun of this game. I'm excited to play this game because I just love clowns so much. I think clowns are so neat. So, I need to find- these cl these these clowns these rooms are moving which makes this a little disorienting but wait oh there we go i have to look at that okay so i am right now in that little room so now i need to find no it can't be that way i need to find how to oh my god a little freakazoid And if this is in a corner... Huh. If I'm in a corner, then I'm probably right there. So if I go... What? This is quite disorienting, and it is hard to move around these rooms. That's the happy face. That's the happy face. So I might be in the right position now. Right? Maybe, maybe here. No, but I was close because I was on the other side, right? So now if I go over one, cut over here, am I going to be in the right place here? Close, close. So you gotta figure out where you are in relation to the happy and sad faces. So right now I'm by the happy face. 
Oh, see, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the issue. Here's my issue. I'm really bad at spatial awareness. So bad at it. So if that's that, then that has got to be right behind it. Right? Which means if I go... But that's a dead end, too. Oh, so, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if... If that's a dead end... And... That's a dead end. No, that's... Wait, wait a minute. minute. Oh my god! <laughs> this game. It's just a little janky. It's just a little janky janky. Every time you think you're in the right position, but you're not, it teleports you. Oh god, I was right next to it. Are you kidding me? Again, I was right next to it. Is it right here? Yes, okay. I did use strategy, but that was just a little bit of random chance. Uh, this game is tricky. It's very tricky. Um, and now adding to that puzzle aspect, I think there's going to be creepy stuff. So let's drop that off there, I guess. Oh, well. I think clowns are pretty neat. I would like a clown to eat. If I had some fried clown feet, then my life would be complete. Okay. So I stare at that, and then he follows you when you don't look. So it's like an SCP-173 clown. Oh. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. Oh, that is, uh... Did he kill me through the glass? Uh, looks like he may have killed me through the glass. So, uh, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a clown. Um... What? I am... Oh, he can pass through the glass. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I shouldn't dawdle. I should not dawdle and wait around for Mr. Clown to come get me. I should, uh, I should wait. I should wait, I should wait. I should be careful. I should be careful. Oh, I see you down there. I see you down there. Okay, so that's the, well, this, well, this kind of game is going to be. It's a little, little clown. little SCP-173 clown. Oh, I'm supposed to get off. Okay. And I have to try and... Oh, the clown door is opening. Okay, I have to get through the maze like before. Wait a minute. It's like totally dark in here. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Oh god. It's not even like scary. Like, look at this dude. Look at this little joker knockoff. Oh my god. I'm gonna fry up your feet, my dude. It's not even scary, it's just the loud, repetitive jump scare sound. That kind of surprises me a little bit. Okay, so there's one of the little ball balls. So I'm in a two, four by four grid. There's 16 squares. So if that is right there, and let me see here. This oh my god, every time. Oh my god, I hate you, dude. Okay, so there's the thing and then one room, two rooms, three rooms, which means I can be there or there. 50-50 chance. I was there. How? But how though? Oh, 
Well, it blinded me and he done got me. I got got by the clown. Oh my god, would you stop? If it didn't play the stupid jump scare sound literally every time. Okay, so I'm in one. Now if I go back this way from this one. One room. One room. I can only go back one room, which means that technically it could be all three of them, right? But now that I've gone back one room, where can I go? I can go that way. What happens if I go this way? I'm trying to figure this out. I'm not smart. So I can go back one room, hit a wall, go to the left, I hit another wall. If I go around here and into here, I'm back. This is in a, how can this be in a corner? I don't understand. No. Yes, it's in a corner. That, that makes no sense. Here? No. Oh, dude, you are just the absolute worst. And I could just probably win this by, like, mashing it, you know? It probably won't actually teleport you to the real room. Okay, so I don't understand because on the map it looks like from, from any one of those, right? There should be three... Well, maybe if I go around here. I was going to say there should be three places to go. Uh, it doesn't show walls on the map is what I'm getting at. And it should show walls on the map. If there's parts where the rooms aren't connected in a full grid, that should be marked in the map because that's what's getting me is that I don't... I don't know where. I have to go backwards through this whole stupid thing. It's not even scary. It's just a stupid repetitive jump scare. Oh my god. But I gotta say, I do like this aesthetic. Hey, there you go. Look at that. That was totally skill and not a complete guesswork. But wait a minute. Oh, look up. Okay. This game is, I do like the aesthetic. I like the aesthetic. I like the graphics. Ah, uh, what was that? I don't know. Look up. No, no. Okay. Um, I like that weird guy. I like the, what's in here? Oh, a little lion man. Bewilder house. I like the aesthetic, I like the graphics. They're not perfect, fancy, wonderful graphics, but they are perfectly serviceable graphics. And we even get a roller coaster part. A completely silent, Oh, okay. I'd love that the roller coaster was just totally silent. I can only walk up if I'm looking at that thing. Okay, that's a little a little tricky. This music is a lot too. <laughs> Tricky, tricky, but you can't get me. Oh, God. That bright light will blind me. Oh, God. Oh, okay. That bounces me up here. But it doesn't actually help me because I can't look at the thing fast enough. Oh my god, that's so annoying. So I gotta keep my gaze tilted down so I don't get blinded. Whoa, why did it do, why did it do that? What is this music? What is this music? What in the world is this music? Why is it like that? 
It sounds like the ghost choir. Like I don't remember. I don't know if you know the ghost choir, but uh, sounds like that, but not good. Oh God. No, 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 no! Oh my god, I didn't expect this to be a rage game! Oh god, I hate you so much. Oh, there we go, I can actually jump up to there, that's... That's helpful. What, it teleported me? The light teleports me. Apparently. Really... Really really love this, actually. This is just... Why? Ah, my god! I'm gonna scream. Really love that it says for educational purposes only down there. Like, uh, what? what is educational about this? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay. You gonna teach people about clowns? Because this is not accurate to real life clown physiology. Keep that in sight and do not look at the bright light. 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 Wait for the bright light to pass by. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my god, I made it. God, that's so... Okay, I'm not even going on the cart. Or maybe I... Oh, okay, we're going in the gullet of the clown. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. I hope you're having a good do time. Think he'll die. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> I, I hope so. Wait, that was it? That was the whole game? Okay, I'm being way too judgmental. What this was, was a cool little horror game made by a little indie development team, and they did a pretty great job. I feel like the clown should have made more of an appearance because it was only there for one level, right? And then it ended with the, like, weird pseudo-platforming thing with the eyes. There should have been, like, another clown level or after that or had that show up before the clown. All in all, not a bad game. And I do really like the aesthetic. I like clown aesthetics. I like circus the aesthetics uh, a lot. So add this down to the list of cool circus clown horror games. Fun. I had a fun, I had a good, I had a fun, good time. Hope you enjoyed if you did, please leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. It does my little heart so good. Until next time, if you know of any other clown horror games or circus horror games, or they don't even need to be horror games, clown games, circus games, recommend them to me. Be like, play Bongo's murder mixtape number three. And if you do that, I will... 99% chance I will play that. See you then. Cha-ching!